Hi, welcome you again to the lecture of coordinate system and projection. I am Sabir Ahmed from Jahangir University. Uh, I'll teach you today about coordinate system and how to project a map. Okay, so in this lecture we will learn about coordinate and projection system. <laughs> so it's uh, simple. Okay, so before going through this, we should know some basic facts and we should know some basic ideas about coordinate and projection system. What is coordinate and what is projection system and how we can do that, etc. Okay, let's see the coordinate system. So what is coordinate system? Traditional coordinate systems are based on a flat coordinate system. They are almost always a positive quadrant coordinate system and they are easier to develop and use over a small area. Recently, with improvements in computer processing capabilities, GIS and GPS systems are migrating toward using the spherical coordinate system of longitude and latitude. So, generally, we do know what is coordinate system. We do generally represent something in a spatial domain mm -hmm. or in coordinate system so that we can identify that object. It can be a there are different types of coordinate systems such as Cartesian coordinate system, spherical coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system and there are lots of coordinate systems that are available so why we do use coordinate system here okay that's a very good question uh, we do use coordinate system and we do have uh, some knowledge of coordinate system because if we do not understand the coordinate system uh, then we couldn't uh, any pro we couldn't project and we wouldn't be able to make some map uh, to a desired level that's why we need to understand the coordinate system. You know, the art is a spherical, right? So we do use art as a spherical coordinate system. And we do represent any position of the art by latitude and longitude, right? So this is also a coordinate system. So that's why we do need to understand the coordinate system. OK, let's see. Uh, this is the Cartesian coordinate system. So any point, for example, 2 and 3, can be identified from this coordinate system. And these are the whole positive things, and these are the whole negative things. And these are the positive negative, these are the positive negative. This is a Cartesian coordinate system, okay? Another coordinate system is cylindrical coordinate system. This cylindrical coordinate system is very important for projections in GIS. So uh, I'm going to give you very good emphasis on here. <clears throat> okay, so these coordinate systems are represented by a cylinder. For example, you want to find a point, for example, P prime. So how we can do that? Okay, so uh, in this case, here the three three axes are that means the radius from from this is the center. So from this to here, this is the this is the r radius. This is the phi. So what is the amount of phi from the x axis? So this is the amount of phi here, and the g. So what is the g? So from here, this is the, this is the g. So if you want to analyze this, this is the G. So from the what is the amount, what is the amount of G from here? So this is the this is the co cylindrical coordinate system. So there is another important coordinate system that is geographic coordinate system, and we do use this for GIS and for R, especially to measure something like this. So what is geographic coordinate system? Geographic coordinate simply refers to the system of latitude and longitude, and a uh, few minutes back, I have already said that any point on the earth we can measure using the latitude and longitude, right? So, especially uh, there are other points, generally we do use the uh, radius of the earth because we are on the surface, so we do not need that. Okay, this coordinate system is formed by creating a grid using an equator, zero degrees, and forming parallels of latitude to the north and south, 90 degrees. Okay, I'm going to show you. Um, the image later in the next slide. So uh, we use the uh, equator as a zero degrees, and if we go from this towards the north up to the 90 degrees, then we'll get the pole, north pole. And if we go to the south from this equator, then we'll get the 90, uh, 90 degrees south pole. That's the thing we have tried to say here. 90 degrees north is the north pole, 90 degrees south is the south pole. So equator is a zero degrees, okay? And these these lines parallel to equator is called the latitude. This is called latitude. Yes. On the other hand, perpendicular to this uh, 
line is called the uh, longitude this is generally extended from east to west and they generally meet to the uh, 180 degrees commonly called the uh, prime meridian there is a prime meridian if you a prime meridian, what is the prime meridian which compasses the greenish england there is a line we have imagined uh, that goes through the um, greenish greenish city of england and we generally uh, refer to this line is a prime meridian so West of this prime, west of this west of this line is called the west. All the on the longitudes formed in west side, and east side of this prime meridian is called the longitude that is east side. Okay. Okay. Map projections are used to transform or project geographical coordinates onto the plot surface. So you understand why we do use geographic coordinates because we have to understand the geographic coordinates to understand this latitude and longitude system and what we generally do we generally do at first we have to define the maps geographic coordinate system then we have to transform it onto a plot surface and this is called projections okay so for example th this is the um, art and uh, i've got this image from this link Okay, so this, this this is the equator, and this lines equals to zero degree. So if we go from here to up to the this pole, then then these are the these are the latitude, and if we go to the south, then it, these are also latitude, and these parallel lines these are the all parallel lines. Okay, these are the prime meridians, and probably in the greenish city in England. So if we go to the go to towards uh. Uh, west then then we will get the west longitude and if you go towards the east then we will get the east longitude okay and this is the pole so i think you understand about the latitude and longitude okay this is the spherical coordinate system this must be known to all of us to understand the geographic coordinate system okay so if we if we see the equator and this is zero uh then then all the lines here this this is the longitude and this is the sorry this is the latitudes parallel to the equator and this is the uh, longitude this is the prime meridian this is the zero degree okay okay so what is projection a projection or projected coordinate system is a two dimensional reference framework onto which three dimensional earth surface is projected first we define the earth as geographic coordinate system right so we have to transform this geographic coordinate system onto a plot surface that is called projections. And this is the definition of these projections and all the images and all the refer all the text are taken from this link. Okay, there are four different types of projections: azimuthal, cylindrical, conic, and mathematical. Generally, we do use more cylindrical and conic. Uh, projection systems, project projections. So uh, we will emphasize on the cylindrical coordinate system as we will uh, in the next all next all videos on lectures. I will use the cylindrical projection system. So in this lecture, I'm gonna give more emphasis on this cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, let let's see the definition of this. This is the planar or azimuthal coordinate system. So what is this planar azimuthal coordinate system? Is usually tangent to a specific point on the earth surface but may also be secant, it's very easy, yes. This point or focus may be a pole or equator. Normal, normally though, the azimuthal projection is used for polar charts due to the distortion at other latitudes. Okay, generally we do use this azimuthal planar coordinate system uh, for polar charts so that we can minimize the distortions at the latitudes, okay. Cylindrical coordinate system. So what is cylindrical coordinate system? Cylindrical coordinate system is nothing, but if we place the whole art in a cylinder, then we can tell this is the cylindrical coordinate system. So let's see the definition. Usually places the art inside a cylinder, okay, with the equator, tangent, or secant to the inside of the cylinder. If the cylinder is placed perpendicular to the axis of the art, that means if the cylinder is placed perpendicular to the axis of the art, the resulting projection is called the transverse projection and mm, parallel to the axis then it is called the normal projection system and it is if it, it is neither parallel neither perpendicular it is oblique 
then it is called oblique cylindrical projection system okay we will see the image so if the whole art is put into the cylinders and this is this, this is the axis of the art and if this axis of the art is almost parallel to the cylinder then it is called the normal uh, cylinder cylinder projection and if the axis of the art is perpendicular to the cylinder then it is called transverse projections and if it is oblique then it is called this oblique uh, this is the this is our axis and so so it is uh, almost oblique so this is called oblique cylinder projection system okay so there are other projection system is conic projection system mathematical map projection system generally we don't use this but sometimes we use so uh, conical projection system is also used for um, for different purposes for example uh, uh, if you want uh, more accurate in mere latitude, then we can use this. Okay. Common GS projections: Mercator, transverse Mercator, universal transverse Mercator, Lambert conformal conic, state plane, Lambert equal area, Albert equal area conic. Okay. So what is Mercator? Com generally, we do use this this four projection systems in GIS or GIS or map preparation. Mercator, transverse Mercator and universal transverse Mercator are cylindrical coordinate system. Lambert conformal conic is conic, conic uh, projection system. So let's see what is the Mercator. A conformal cylindrical projection tangent to the equator. Originally created to display accurate compass bearing for sea level. Okay. So generally it, it, it was made for bearing for sea level an additional feature of this projection is that all local shapes are accurate and clearly defined okay this is also similar to uh, the mercator uh, similar to uh, similar to the mirror mir the, the result is conformal projection that minimizes the distortion in the north south line but does not maintain true directions there is some limitations here so what is the universal transverse mercator utm we do use this and we will also use this projection system for further lectures. So, based on transverse Mercator projections, centers in the middle of the zones that are six degrees in longitude wide. These zones have created throughout the world. So, I'm going to show you what is the you know, what is the transverse Mercator. So, this is the UTM zone numbers. This is the UTM Universal Transverse Mercator Map System. So. Projection. So we transform geographic coordinate system map into this uh, universal transverse Mercator system uh, into a planar surface. And this is the zero, and approximately this is the zero. This, this, this is the prime meridian here. Mm. Prime. Oh, okay. This, the, uh, this is the prime. This, this is this is the prime meridian and goes through the um greenish cities of uh england is the england this is also equator okay so these are the all negative coordinates and these are all positive coordinates so we want our map to be projected in universal coordinate universal transverse make the utm systems we'll define the zones later these are the zone numbers here one if you so for example i am here I am from Bangladesh, so if I want to project uh, using universal transverse Mercator, then I have to um, work with either 45 or 46 zones, right? And if you are from United States, and um, there are different states, for example, if you are from uh, California, then you have to define the zone 10, and if you are from, for example, the New York, then you have to define from 18, and if you are from Nepal, then you, uh, there are two different uh, coordinate systems for Nepal as well. 45 and 44 so if you are from here this part then you have to define using 44 utm zones and if you are from uh, east side then you have to define this 45 item zone so there are the different things and if you are from sri lanka then you have to define the 44 coordinate system zones okay so this is very easy to use and in rgs 10 um, you'll get all the coordinate all the universal transverse Mercator zone 0 to 60 so you can easily get this this is very good good to know all about that okay so these are the UTM zone numbers I think you have got all the points what I am trying to uh, make you understand so conclusion so 
to make a map project project there. so what you have to do so at first you have to define its geographic coordinate system right okay then you have to transform this geographic coordinate system to any projection system map using the available map projection system using available methods right so these are very crucial points so at first you have to define the geographic coordinate system second you have to transform this to any projected system using available methods for example it may be transverse may be conic it may be azimuth it may be mathematical it doesn't matter so in according to your preference according to your objectives you can do that okay you have to even follow this procedure for making new shape file. If you want to make a new shape file, then you have at first you have to define its coordinate system first. Then you have to okay transform transform this. Okay. So for unknown spatial reference map, for example, if you want to make a map from a uh, scan or some analog uh, analog, analog something, then you have to geo reference it first. That means you have to define some at least four points uh, in defining its latitude longitude then you have to pro you have to project this okay so these are the things what we have to do so from this lecture what we have learned we have learned about the geographic coordinate system and how to project this okay so if if it if it lacks a special reference then you have to give geo reference it first then then follow the same procedures that was geographic and transformation okay so we'll see on RGS how to do that. Okay, let's see. I have several maps here. For example, I have some maps here. Point, point data. This is the shape as point data. So how you can check or whether it is a projected or non-projected. So if you right click here and go to the data frame properties or view data frame properties, then you will get its coordinate system so here the general data frame coordinates if you go to the coordinate system then you will get the wgs 1984 so i have used the 45 north zone 45 north zone um utm zone uh, transverse mercator linear you have used the meter here the meter and its geographic coordinate system was there i was uh, WGS 984. So I use this data as WGS 984. So you can assure that it is a um, project, then you can use this easily. Okay. I have another map as well, uh, which lacks uh, projections and it's only a, it shows a degree decimal and it does. A, a, we didn't make it projected. We didn't make it project. <coughs> we didn't project it. So if you want to see that, then what we see, we, we see only that it is there. Um, the Everest Bangladesh okay so we didn't project it yet so that's why it didn't show it doesn't show any uh, projections related information here so if you want if you want to do that we have to convert this and we have to project this map okay so these are the procedures how we can do this and how you can prepare our map for part analysis and definitely we have to all the maps projected for part analysis, for accurate analysis. Okay, so I hope you have understood all the things that I'm trying to make you understand. Thank you very much, and we'll see in the next lecture how to geo reference math.